Hello everyone, today I will tell you how to uh, configure your OpenWRT router. OpenWRT is actually a custom firmware for your routers and I have installed it on TP-Link Archer C50 version 4 which is quite old router but uh, it looks and works much better when you install this OpenWRT uh, firmware. And I've got the version of uh, Lucia uh, Open WRT 1907. Actually, that's how it's called. And the kernel version is 4.14.133. And actually, this is one of the most optimal version for this model. And this uh, custom firmware is available for majority of routers so you can find out how to install it in your version uh, in google or in case you need it just leave your comments below and i will record additional videos so let's move on with the settings itself firstly you can see the memory available here my router has only 64 megabytes or 58 actually and it's only occupied on 59 percent all right let's move on to the status so here we have overview page that's currently also open also firewall which we shouldn't touch there is actually some settings but i don't recommend you to touch it and all the status actually is just for uh, logs and information real-time graphs etc so all the settings are kept in the system and others and network actually two folders here so here we can set the name of your router we can set the time zone we can also enable the time synchronization and we can just sense it currently with your browser here uh, also we have login you can activate it also actually i didn't touch it language up to your preferences and advanced also all the settings on a system one i didn't touch administration so here you can set your password all those two also you don't really need it so just set your password uh, for future usage the software for software is just installed apps actually so you have the installed uh, add-ons how they call it it's quite many of them but i also didn't touch it but in case you're advanced user you will find the usage of it so let's move on with the startup so same you can just control the apps that start up on your device actually don't use it so let's move on with the schedule task so here i schedule the task you can find it in the internet to reboot my router by schedule so actually it's rebooted once per as i remember once per week uh, at night so i set it up once actually you can find uh, the setting the internet and write how to schedule reboot your router in open wrt and you will find how to make it up by yourself because this option is not available in graphic mode so you only need to type it here also some other schedule stuff can be uh, schedule tasks can be available as well what else we have Le led configuration so actually you can just disable all the led indicators in your router or just keep uh, what which one you need i didn't touch it so i just keep it as it is uh, backup so here you can generate all the settings backed up and in case you reset your router you can just uh, move back to your settings because you spend the time to set it up so now you don't need to spend time again in case you reset it so i just recommend you once you finish the settings you just generate some backup and then anytime you can restore it also it's used for updating the firmware images as well uh, reboot option will not open it right now it's clear so let's move on to network so here we've got interfaces LAN, WAN and WAN6. You can also edit them or create them as well. Restart, stop or remove. Also I keep it by default, don't touch it and just suggest to keep it here as it is. And move on to wireless part. The wireless part, it's really important as here you see I 
actually using only uh, 5 gigahertz or AC here so I just even disabled BGN standard which is also consumes the processor warm up the router itself so personally I don't use it and I just use uh, the regular one uh, the Wi-Fi 5G here and no recommended others to use uh, the BGN is quite outdated as well, so the standard is the best. Uh, although uh, you can see here the signal and noise level, you can see the name here, MAC address, disconnect some devices and also their uh, RX T T TX rate. As you see like which band, which frequency and what is the maximum speed and for now for this router you see 780 megabits per second even available. Um, let's move on to to the settings itself. So here 5G settings. I will not touch uh, regular band because it's actually more or less similar. Uh, so let's see what I've got here. Let's start from the wireless network. You can enable or disable. You have the N legacy and AC channels as you see many of them available i am prefer to use 36 and suggest you to use 36 because this channel provides the actually the longest range as higher the bandwidth uh, or channel as shorter will be the range of your router so i recommend to use 36 and the uh, wide i use 80 mhz but also all my devices supported it Transmitter power, so it's also related to the length of the signal and how far you can go from your router. So I put the maximum 22 dBm. Of course, it's consume more power, but it's actually not important in case you want to have the longest range. And this longest range also provided by the country and the region selected. So I selected Singapore and it's provided to me 22 dBm in case you select another country it can provide only up to 20 or even 18 so I suggest you to select Singapore here and you will have more channels the same uh, with uh, regular uh, regular band let me just show you briefly I don't know whether it will be working don't want to activate it yeah, as you see here for Singapore it's available 13 uh, channels here in uh, 2.4 megahertz in case you will have any other region it will be 11 only so this is quite a good option All right let's move on uh, with a 5 uh, gertz setting AC uh, here we have interface configuration so you can see on the picture how to set it up just don't touch here anything wireless security I'm using WPA2 um, also here automatic all those should be disabled and just set your password Mac filter disable advanced settings here so actually only use dissociate and low acknowledgement that I installed here all the others I suggest to keep by default it's more than enough and in advanced settings you see country Singapore here I didn't optimize anything and just keep it how it is it's already working much much better than the stock uh, firmware of this router so basically the main settings are related here all the other advanced settings they don't really help to enlarge anything in this router so if you select it like this as shown in the picture it will it will get you automatically the maximum what you can get from exactly my routers that I'm using and we back here to 2.4 in case you need to use it same here for advanced just Singapore selected and all the other keep on a standard level for wireless security this method and for advanced settings so here just activate short preambles that's it and the basic settings end mode the 13 channel it's, it's not that loaded 40 MHz and 22 dBm it's the best configuration that you can get uh, all right let's move on switch so basically switch is like it sound just ports that are using so I've got four LAN but only one of them is using right now 
and one WAN as well available and also just CPU which is here I don't recommend to touch anything as well DHSP and DNS also everything by default DHSP DHSP and DNS everything uh, by default here so don't need to touch it host names I don't use it static roads don't use it diagnostics tools let's open it also don't use it firewall so actually it's up to your preferences whether you need it or no so that's the standard configuration that I'm using here so basically I didn't touch anything, port forward, traffic rules, didn't touch it. Uh, all right, basically from the settings perspective, that's pretty much it. Uh, I really recommend to install this open uh, WRT uh, in case you have some quite old and outdated routers, you don't have any updates, they overheat and it's really good to install it. Or you have really cheap router with really really weak uh, hardware, so it's really good to have this customized software, which will be which will use more efficiently your channel, let's say, and all your settings will be much much more uh, deep, and you will have more gain, more transmitter power, more bitrate and faster actually communication with your router less pink and all the other settings will be more optimized in case you use uh, such sort of open uh, WRT software all right actually the review itself is almost over in case you still you have some questions you can leave it in the comments below uh, put the thumbs up and see you next time